got to make a sacrifice. You got to make a sacrifice. To be full of commitment. You got to go when you're tired. You got to go when you're broke. You got to go when you're broke down. You got to go when you don't feel like going. You got to be so loud. You got to be fully committed. Whatever state I'm in, I learned how to be content. Lord have mercy. Fully committed. Fully committed. Dedicated. Sold out. All with the pride. Sold out. Sold out. Fully committed. Not just fully committed to me, but fully committed to him. That's just all it is to it. That's all it is to it. Yeah. Oh. Say the I know all of us used to couldn't sing that song. All of us used to couldn't sing that song. But now, yeah, I can sing that song. Because I, I like the cowboy. But I love God. Yeah, Sister Walker, I thank God for her. She works hard. Amen. Amen. 
She wants children that know God. And that's just the bottom line. Amen. 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 All right. Um, I may get in trouble, but I'm going to do it anyway. I thank God for this young lady. <laughs> Amen. I've been told she don't like people calling her out, but I ain't calling her out. I'm just telling you. I thank God for it. Amen. And she came as a guest of Sister Amen. 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 Now, Sister Shai ain't been back in church very long, but look at her, breaking forth. Amen. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Amen. Amen. See, what did I do? Did I do bad? Did I do bad? No. I'm, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to my friend over there. Did I do bad? Did I do bad? No. Oh, you said <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 through 5. And y'all pray for me. I got to have a camera that move, but I, I'm fine. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Amen? Amen. And I, I'm just going to talk to you today because I want you to understand something. You can't fake this until you make it. Amen. Some folks try to fake it till they fake it. But you can't fake this. You can't fake this till you make it. Because if you will fake, you ain't going to make it. Amen. But most folks try to fake it till they make it. They try to, you know, this is, <laughs> this is a law. You know, we know that the world is evil. Amen. And it's almost New Year. And folks folks going to do everything they can. Amen. To have a successful new year. They're going to go out and buy their hog chillings. Which I don't think you can clean them a little. They're going to buy their black eyed peas. They're going to put. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? And they ain't going to go what? They ain't going to go whatever. I, like I say, but they they going to do all this stuff. Amen, to try to have a successful New Year. And when things don't go right, they say, well, can you imagine what would happen if I didn't eat my black eyed peas? Uh, that's right. <laughs> it could be worse. Don't be laughing at me so bad. Superstition. Yeah, superstition. Faking it. Because your confidence shouldn't be in black eyed peas and cotton cream <laughs> and cabbage and, and hog chillings. Your faith ought to be in the Lord. But we try to fake it. Amen. Like, like, like black eyed peas going to help me. Black eyed peas ain't going to do nothing but make you fat. Amen. But God wants you to trust in him. What he's saying? He only is for the Lord our God. is one Lord and God said, I love the Lord. Amen. That God was how? How much? When he doesn't have to have it all, you, 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 you in the position of doing idolatry. Amen. Everything that you put before God is idolatry. And God, now listen, now I want you to get this. God didn't say you shouldn't have no other God. He said don't have no God before me. We put everything that we can before the Lord. And that's idolatry. We do what we want to do. When we want to do it, how we want to do it, amen, and then expect God to do what he wants to do with our lives. But you can't fake this thing. This thing has to be real for us and to us, amen? amen. And we know that every day we face uncertain future here on this earth. Terrorists are trying to kill us here in America. That's it. Amen. You got all kinds of viruses out there. You got now, you got some I ain't. I ain't never heard of them until recently. RSV. What is that? COVID. The flu. Amen. Then you got vaccines that you can't trust. Amen. Then you got natural disasters, earthquakes, and volcanoes, and on top of that, all the trials and the tribulations and the problems that we go through in this life. Amen. The personal things that cause the sorrow and pain and even death to our families. This stuff is going on in our lives. Yes. But we can't make it if we don't love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our might. Oh Lord, I like you. We know, we know, we know what 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 all this other stuff means, but when he said with all of our might, you got to put some stuff into it if you want to get some out of it. Oh Lord, have mercy. Help me. Amen. So God wants us to understand to be content. 
You got to be determined. You got to be appreciative of what God has done for you. Amen. And when you are, you dedicated to His service. Amen. And see, it's one thing that I understand about God. If I live in this life, God is with me. But as Paul said, if I die, I'm with God. So you're in a win-win situation when you trust God. Amen. God is here with us. He said, I'll never do what? Leave you, not forsake you. But God came and he lived my life. And now it's time for me to live this life. Oh, does that make any sense? He, he came and lived my life. He left his throne in glory. Amen, man. Yeah, don't me ain't going to take care of it. He left his throne in glory, and he came down and lived my life. God knows what it feels like to have a headache. Amen. God knows how it feels to be heartbroken. That's right. God knows how it feels for folks to turn their back on you and, and, and say all men are, are evil against you. Amen. Right. But this thing has not, it can't be where you can fake it and think you're going to make it. You can't use God as a hobby. A hobby is something you do part time for rest and relaxation. But this has to be a lifestyle. Amen. This has to be your life. Amen. 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 Because a lifestyle is consistent. When folks see you, let, let me ask you a question. I told you. When you, when folks talk about you, what do they say about you? They say you the pastor. They say you like the Cowboys. They say you love Sister Washington. Mm -hmm. These are things that you're passionate about. So what do they say about you? Do they say that you love the Lord? Mm -hmm. With all your heart? Mm -hmm. All your soul? With all your might? Yeah. Amen. Do you talk about God when you're not in church? Amen. Sometimes folks come to church. Go to church don't mean you say. Go to church don't mean that you living your life for God. Amen. Amen. We leave out the church to leave God in the church. Amen. But I ask for the work needs to be done. You come here to worship and praise God. Amen. And that's what God wants for you. Amen. Amen. He wants you to tell folks about who he is and what he has done for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I'm going to finish cold. In the book of John, Amen. chapter 4, and verse 31, I told you, I'm not going to be long. <laughs> Chris said, what? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because she's dedicated. Yeah. Let, let me tell y'all something. Tell them, Sister Bailey. Tell them, Sister Christian. Y'all see these women right here? Yes, sir. If they would tell you their whole story, you would understand why they want to be in church. Amen. You would understand why they don't want me to stop preaching when I stop. Amen. You would then understand why, why when Bible study goes on, when the hour is up, they want me to keep on going. Amen. You would understand. You see them now. Amen. But you didn't see them when they were a caterpillar. Uh -huh. You see them as butterflies now. And I use them as examples anywhere and everywhere I go because I know that story. I know where God has brought them from. Amen. Amen. You, you such a great thing. You can dress like that. Huh? Amen. 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 So the Christian that used to want to be in church. Amen. So the Christian wants to be in church now. So the family wants to be in church now. Amen. Because of where God has brought them from. Amen. When you get that love, God with all that heart. All your soul and with all your might. In other words, I'm going to put everything I got into it. Yeah. You see them now. You see that glory, but you don't know that story. Amen. But God, you look where God has brought them from. And, and, and yes, it's funny how she looked when she said, when I said I'm about to close, because she wants more and more and more of God. Amen. You know who Mary was like? Mary and Martha. You know, one was in there working in the kitchen. And another was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Want to get more of him. And one got mad at the other one because, because one was working and the other wasn't. Working ain't going to get you closer to God. 
to come into his presence. Yeah, that's Amen. It. Come into his presence and learn more about him. That's, it. that's what God wants of you. Amen. God wants that from you. Amen. So, so let, me, let, let me finish. This is about the woman at the well. Yeah. This is about the woman at the well. When Jesus said, when the disciples came back, they said, Lord, eat. Jesus said, I got meat to eat of that you don't know nothing about. But this woman that was at the well, God was concerned about her. God was ready to have a revival, and they were ready to eat. They were fleshly, but God was going to revival. Because when that woman left Jesus, she dropped her water pot, ran back to the city. And told the men. Yes, she did. Lord have yeah. mercy. I don't know about you, but see, 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 the Bible says she told everybody. Because this woman had been married, five husbands, and the one she had, she was shocking with. Because he said, that's the one you got, it ain't yours either. Right. Amen. But the words that Jesus spoke to her, amen, it wasn't no faith. The word that Jesus spoke to her set her on fire. Yeah. She didn't want no more of that natural water. Uh -huh. Amen. She dropped her water pot, ran back to the city, and told the men of the city, yeah. you what? Come, see. Come see. You've been treating me like a dog. Uh -huh. You've been treating me like I'm not a person. Uh -huh. But I want you to come see a man. Yeah. Woo. Treating me like a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Treating me like a woman supposed to be treated. Told me everything that I've done. I want you to come see him. Yeah. Jesus was concerned about her faking it because it was real. Amen. She felt his presence. Yeah. She felt his love for her. And she loved him now with all of her heart, yeah. all of her soul, and with all of her might. She took everything she cared and ran back to the city yeah. to tell somebody yeah. when you are true with God, yeah. you will be willing to run and tell. Yeah. about how good God been to you. Yeah. It won't be no faith no. just because I go to church. Amen. It's no faith. It's no faith just because I come to church. It's not fake. I'm not trying to fake it till I make it. Uh -huh. I'm sincere yeah. Yeah. about what God has done for me. Uh -huh. Because when I look back over my life, I realize what God has done for me. It wasn't me. I couldn't say it. I couldn't do it for myself. I had to have a Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And like I told you, he came and lived my life, and now it's my time to live here. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Oh, Lord have mercy. See, no matter what situation you're in, God will be right there for you. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to worry about stuff when God is on your side. Right. The Bible says, if God is on my side, who is going to be against me? Right. The three Hebrew boys can tell you that story. Yeah. More bless with more blessings in the morning. But the three Hebrew boys can tell you. Yeah. Amen. They was they were talking about God wherever they went. If they was in jail, they were talking about God. Yeah. If they was out of jail, they were talking about God. Yeah. And then when the king came before them, he was, they were talking about God. Amen. 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 They were trying to make them buy out to another yeah. God. They said, we ain't buying God to no other God. Yeah. I can't take this thing. Right. If you kill me, I can't take this thing. This thing got to be real in my life. Those three Hebrew boys and the king case said, Y'all not going to bow? Said, no, we're not going to bow. Because my God, hey, how many can say that? My God, my God. is able yeah. to deliver me from your fire furnace, yeah. and he will deliver me out of your hand. Yeah. But if he don't, yeah. I'm still not going to bow. Yeah. And the king got so mad. That he, Lord, that mercy, y'all, y'all help me. The king got so mad that he turned the fire up seven times hotter. See, let me tell you something. When you live for the Lord, the devil turned the fire up on you. Amen. Church folk, the devil turned the fire up on church folk. Amen. Amen. He, turned the, he said he turned the fire up seven times hotter than it had been before. Right. Turn it up. The devil gonna throw you in the fire, so the shot. Every time I know when you said I'm gonna turn my life around, so start happening. Yes, sir. All of you, as you turn your life, say I'm gonna turn my life around, so start happening. Yes. Get him fixed and notice it. Yes. <laughs> Stuff just don't work. Yes. 
So it's going to work for you. They turned the fire seven times harder than it ever had been before. Amen. And the fire was so hard to kill the folks that threw them in the fire. Lord have mercy. So we know the fire was hot. Yeah. Kill the folks that threw them in there. Yeah. But they went in that fire furnace, mm -hmm. bound hand and foot. Yeah. And when they got in the fire furnace, I believe that the fire burned off the bonds that had them by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they began to walk around in that fire loose. Walking in the fire loose. Now, we in our fire, we be trying to get out. We be trying to get out, see? But when you with God, you can't fake this thing. They but we be trying to get out. Hold up, I ain't got no, I'm not bound anymore. Hold up. But you ain't got sense enough to know that the fire killed the folks that threw you in there, and you walking around in it. They were walking around loose in the fiery furnace. They wasn't faking. And let me tell you something. God said, I'll never leave you, don't forsake you. And the king woke up that morning concerned about the three Hebrew boys. Got up, went down there, looked into the fiery furnace. And he saw four men walking around in the fiery furnace loose. And he said, y'all come and bring me a mathematician. Because maybe my math is off. How many did you throw in there? Yeah. Hey, well, we threw three in there, okay? He said, I see four walking around loose in the fire. And how he knew it, I don't know. He said, one looked like he's the son of God. And that's Jesus, Lord. Let me tell y'all something. Jesus will be there with you even in your fire. But you can't take it. It's got to be real. And so, 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 the three Hebrew boys came out of the fire. But guess what? Jesus didn't come out. Jesus didn't come out. Jesus stayed in the fire. BJ, if you're in the fire, Jesus is still there. All of us, if you go in the fire, Jesus is still there. But you can't take it. You got to be real with God. You got to give him all, love him with all your heart, all of your soul, and all of your mind. Put some in it. See, you, 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 you're supposed to be in church. Amen. You're supposed to be in Bible study. You're supposed to pray. You're supposed to let God have his way. You're supposed to give him your time, your talent, and your treasure. You can't fake it. Because, again, where your treasure is and where your heart is. Amen. Your heart got to be with God. It's got to be love him with all your heart, all your soul, and with all your mind. And sometimes you're just not going to feel like it. Amen. But you got to do like David said. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Your body may not feel like it, but you got to make your soul, your spirit got to make your soul bless the Lord. Amen. See, you may not feel like raising your hand, but raise them anyhow. You may not feel like saying nothing, but talk anyhow. You say, hallelujah, anyhow. Thank God for Jesus. If you can't say nothing else, somebody also put it like this. If I just could say a what? Hey, I just raised my hand. Well, the Sunday school lesson told y'all about that. God didn't let Zacharias talk, Zacharias talk because he didn't want to spread down. Amen. Amen. But when? It came to pass. Yeah. They said, this boy's name is Zechariah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but God released Zechariah's mouth. Wow. And he said, his name is John. Yeah. Just like God said, his name is John. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because when you spreading doubt, trying to fake it, like I believe God. I don't know what I'm going to do. I believe God. Oh, I'm so tired. I believe God. But Jesus did not give up on us. And we can't give up on God. Amen. Let me put it, I'm so glad that God and Jesus didn't give up on us. Yeah. Amen. He left his throne in glory Amen. and came down and became what we are. Amen. 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 What did he become? The Bible said he was made sin for us who knew no sin. Oh, Lord. He didn't fake it. He was willing to come down 
from his throne in glory to become our life. Amen. We were sinners. Amen. Passed on down from Adam Amen. down here to us right now. Amen. It was passed on down to all of us. And Jesus became what we were. Yes. By one man seeing entered into the world. Amen. And by another man, we got salvation. Yeah. And that man is Jesus Christ himself. Amen. He became what we were. Then, not only did he become what we were, he paid the price for our sin. Yes. He died on the cross. They put him in a barbed tomb. What I want you to do 